hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see about the sub query in a sql and this is a uh, important from a query perspective okay whenever you have to write the complex query right so there actually we had to use a multiple select statement multiple table we have to consider and there are so many table condition we have to consider in that kind of the case generally we use a sub query from a definition perspective you will see the sub query right you can say in high level query within another query we call it as a sub query okay i want to give you one example so that we will be having a better understanding okay i have one sales table and my requirement is like to write one query which will give me the total sales in the last year which will give me the total sales in the last year for taking example this is the table i have i have a 2020 data 2021 data also now i want to write a query which will give me the total sales in the last year okay so if i will what actually the query i can write for this if i have to write what i will write select star from sales where year equal to the year equal to the 2021 okay uh, and i will write like sum of the sales sum of the sales okay if i will write like this i will get the total sales in the 2021 here sales is the table name right and sales is column also that's why we are writing two sales okay now here if you will see I have this table, sales table. Here I have year, quarter, and the sales, 2020 and 2021 data. Okay. Now suppose in this ta table, 2022 data also came. In this case, if you will write this query, this will give me the total sales of the 2021 only. It, this will not give me the total sales of the 2022, right? Okay. Because we have hard coded this. Okay. Instead of hard coding this, what actually we have to do? We have to use of the sub query to solve this. So that every time if I will execute, it will give me the total sales of the last year or the maximum year. How actually we can write a day, write a sub query? Let us see. Okay. Now instead of passing this um, manually, what actually I can write? I can write another st select statement, right? So if I will write select maximum year from the sales table from the sales table i'll get the 2021 because the 2021 is the maximum year right okay so what actually i will do instead of hard coding this this actually we will pass into the here where select sum of the sales from the sales table where equal where year equal to the select you have to open a bracket and you have to close so this first thing it will execute this okay this is the inner query and this actually we call it as the outer query okay so what actually it will give me select sum of sales from the sales table where year equal to the maximum year from the sales table okay now if i will execute this will give me the total sales in the 2021 okay if the new data is coming if the 2022 data is coming in this case also the maximum year means 2022 automatically it will take and it will give me the result okay so this is how actually we use a sub query so this this we call it as a inner query and this will call we will call it call it as a outer query and the inner query will be executed first and then only the outer query will be executed so first it will find out the what is the maximum year we have okay so suppose 2022 so it will take where year equal to the 2022 and select some of the sales okay so that is how actually we use it i hope you got it now let us try to take another example i have a two table i have one department table and i have a employee table okay now if you can see i have all the employee related information their department id and in the department table i have a department id location and the department name okay there is one note you have to remember only the valid and active department de details are only maintained in the department table okay in a employee all the historical data is also maintained okay and but in a department only the whoever is running now whoever the department is running now in a organization that kind of the information only present in the department okay now what is the query i have to write i have to write a query to get the employee data details available in a department okay now i have to write a one query okay i have to write a query which will give me the valid employee details okay 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 who, who all are the valid employee details whose information will be available in a department so how actually you can write that so i will write select star from employee employee okay where department where department is present into the department table right where department in one two 
right this is the two id which is present in the department table department id right now if i will execute i will get only those record you can see this i am getting okay but instead of hard coding what actually we can write we can write into the sub query how actually i can write i'll write i will open a bracket and i'll close the bracket and here i will write another query select department id from department table okay instead of passing a hard coding 1 to what i will write select department id from a department table whatever the department id is present into the department table okay whatever the department id is present into the department table that will go into the in condition first this thing will be executed you can see one and the two only the department id is present and it will give me the all the employee details okay so first this will be executed and this will give me the result of the one and two okay and when i will execute the whole query this will give me the only the valid employee who are available in the department okay so this is how actually we write i hope you got it okay first the inner query will get executed and then the outer query this is how the sub query works i hope you got it